Yo, what's wrong with people? Yo, what's wrong with people? Yo, it's a thought process for me. Like, for real? What the fuck is wrong with people? <laughs> Yo. Respectfully. No disrespect to nobody at the end of the day. But the worst time of the month to be bothering somebody and playing in somebody's face, especially a female, is when it's that time of the month. Ma'am, sir. No, nobody's supposed to know when it's that time of the month. But just do yourself a favor, right? Because you don't want to get cursed out at the end of the day. Stay in your lane when it comes to respect. It's just that simple. Who the fuck told you at the end of the day it was okay to say, oh, the reason why you acting like this is because you on your period. Oh, look, who are you? Why is your thought process like that at the end of the day? All because somebody said, leave me alone, ma'am, sir. Like, sir, ma'am, listen, <laughs> not everybody wants to be bothered. Okay, <laughs> but the worst time for you to be bothering somebody is on their time of their menstrual at the end of the day. Don't be mad when they give you two nice cents of their motherfucking words at the end of the day like this. Yo, do me a favor, ma'am, sir. Not today. Hello? What the fuck is wrong with people? <laughs> make it make sense at the end of the day. <laughs> Have a nice day somewhere else. <laughs> okay, <laughs> bye now. <laughs> Have a good day. <laughs> Yo. You ever came across a female that was so respectful and you just reevaluated the situation from your eye, but you was trying to mind your business? Like, <laughs> I'm gonna mind my business all the way over here, but we're gonna watch this play out. Hold on, what's about to happen? <laughs> she mind her business, not acknowledging homeboy, homegirl, right? <laughs> mind her business, <laughs> not bothering nobody, no interaction with nobody, just trying to place her order, mind her business. Uh, uh. Homeboy, homegirl, approach her now, right? Hey, how you doing, man? Can I get your number? <laughs> no, sir. No, thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> you must be on your period. B i t c h. Oh Lord, wait. Oh, ah, oh, 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 oh. I hope she not. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. <laughs> how dare you? Oh, shit. What am I watching? Oh, what's about to happen next? Oh, shit. How dare you, sir, ma'am? Oh. <gasps> she like, I ain't even got time for this today. Why are you mad? I said, no, thank you, ma'am, sir. It was just that simple. Why are you so mad? <laughs> F you. <laughs> oh, have a nice day. Why is it at the end of the day when a female or a male acknowledge that they don't want to occupy your time because they are not interested at the end of the day? Why is it that you have to disrespect somebody in the process because you don't, you're not okay with rejection? Because you're not used to rejection at the end of the day or you feel like things are supposed to go in your favor because you have control issues at the end of the day. Why is it? Why is that? Why is that okay? Why do you think that's acceptable at the end of the day? Because it's not to dis disrespect an innocent human being, minding their business out in public or wherever they are, because you want their attention, and because they're not giving you their attention, you have to be disrespectful within the process of something that they don't want to entertain at the end of the day. No disrespect, but you allow to be disrespectful when disrespecting them in, within your process of rejection. When somebody doesn't want to be bothered, when somebody's acknowledged no thank you, leave me alone respectfully, you don't have to disrespect them in the process because you're not used to rejection. You're used to being in control. You love to be the one in control. You can't control everybody. Respectfully. Leave innocent people alone within your process. Just because someone overlooks you don't give up on yourself. Just because someone gave up on you, don't give up on yourself. Never allow someone to suck you out of your thought process because they're miserable. Never allow someone to suck you out of your freedom because they're miserable. Never allow someone to suck you out of your thought process because you love yourself, because they're miserable. Loving yourself is not a crime. When someone acknowledges that they don't want to be bothered with you, you shouldn't have to 
retaliate and try to bring harm towards that person in malicious ways or disrespect that person in an uncomfortable way when that innocent person had no acknowledgement as to who you even was when you try to acknowledge yourself in the first place. They don't know who you are. They're not trying to know who you are. But you just try to make yourself irrelevant. And they dismissed you with kindness and you took it as disrespect because you're used to someone falling for your game, whatever you want to call it, or because uh, you say this is how it's supposed to go. So when I speak, they better listen type of energy. No, that's not how it works. When someone has respect for themselves, or when someone doesn't want to be bothered, or when someone doesn't feel comfortable, they don't have to entertain you, let alone have a conversation with you. It's not being rude or disrespectful. You are genuinely loved by all the right people. You are genuinely respected by all the right people. You deserve to be treated with respect during 65 days with no malicious intentions to bring harm towards anyone. You are worthy. You deserve to be treated with respect during 65 days. Never allow someone to take care of your thought process because you love yourself. Loving yourself is not a crime. Love yourself, love yourself, love yourself. Now you genuinely love respect. It's not a crime to love yourself. Protect your energy.